What? Is your Daryl in? No. Would you know when he'll be back? No. How's Bethany? She's not great. I'm sorry. Um, I'll tell him you're looking for him. She took one of the E's. What? I mean, I, I just left her alone for one minute. I walked in and, and she's in the car. What do you mean she took one of the E's? I thought you hid him. I did. She found him. It was awful. I mean, she started having fits and then they came in and they were asking me if she'd taken anything. They went on and on how important it was for him to find out whether she had. I mean, I had to tell him what it was. Yeah, yeah, of course she did. So how is she now? She's unconscious. Oh, flaming hell. How did she get hold of them? Where did you put them? In one of her dolls. You what? Uh, I, I mean, it, it was out of the way and she never put You idiot! I know, I know, I know how stupid it was and I'm sorry, but... <sighs> Daryl, I've done something else stupid and all. What? I've told them they were yours. Right. Well, she's uh, still unconscious, so we don't really know. Oh, poor thing. Oh, if there's anything we can do. Absolutely. <laughs> proud of yourself, are you? Putting a little girl in hospital. Dare you bring drugs into my house? Mother, How mother. dare you threaten my family? I have done all wrong. Think it's cool, dear? Selling drugs, dear? Come with me now to the hospital. Come and see my Bethany lying on a ventilator and tell me it's cool! Hey, hey, what's going on? He's the one that put Bethany in hospital. He sold drugs to our David. Is this true? No. Look, Mum, it, it went all to do with him, all right? I made it up. You told me. Yeah, I know, but I panicked. I mean, it was the first thing that came into my head. I'm sorry. Get in there! Now! You too. I don't care where you got the drugs from. I don't care whether you're lying or telling the truth. All I care about is what you've done to Beth. Well, I mean, she's going to be all right. I mean, she can't... She's still unconscious. They're saying she's stable. Don't you dare look relieved. For all we know, she could be brain damaged. Would that be any better? Can you live with that for the rest of your life? Mum, it were an accident. I never meant it. That makes it better, does it? Mrs. Platt? Yes. DC Tandy. I'm looking for your son, David. You'd better come in. David Platt? I'm arresting you on suspicion of possession of a Class A drug. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you don't mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say, Maybe given an evidence. Were you able to search these premises under Section 32 of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act? You can come with him if you like. No, thank you. Mum, I want to be here for my daughter. Mum! <sighs> 
<laughs> this is mad, all right? I'm, I'm not a drug dealer, OK? And it was just one lousy pill. One lousy pill? You make it sound like it doesn't matter, David. Like it hasn't put your niece in hospital. I didn't mean that. What if she dies, David? Well, she won't. Don't you want the person who gave it to you to pay? What you... It wasn't their fault, all right? It was my fault for leaving it so that she could, she could get her hands on it. <sighs> Let's hope she doesn't die, eh? Because if she does, it won't just be possession you're looking at. It'll be a charge of manslaughter. It's a brother you want to be speaking to, not us. I'm gonna pick a few things up. How is she? What are you doing here? They never let you out. They give me a formal warning. And that's it? And it'll go on my record. And that makes up for me nearly losing my child? Is that all she's worth, a ticking off? Look, Sarah, if I could go to prison, yes, I would, all right? Anything to make up for you it. You can't do anything to make up for it. I hate you! I will never forgive you. Mum, when Bethany's better, I'm packing and I'm leaving with her. I'm sorry, I can't live here with him. Oh, don't you worry. He's the one that's going. Go and pack your stuff. You what? You heard. Well, come on, don't be daft. Fine. I'll pack it for you. <laughs> I tell you what. She don't mean it, you know. She's, she's just bluffing. We'll see. Right. Out. Well, where am I supposed to go? I don't care. I just want you out. I know you're upset and angry, and I don't I'm not you. angry. I've done angry. I'm just past caring. I mean, isn't something childish like playing truant or not turning up for your exams? It's not even something nasty, like them cards you sent. It's something much worse. So I want you to go. And I want you to stay away until you can prove you've changed your ways. So go on. You've just been waiting for someone like this to come along, and you? Any old excuse just to get rid of me? Don't you dare try and make me feel guilty. I didn't want any of this. You brought it all on yourself. Now get out. <laughs> 